So just a quick forward, we're actually going to skip ahead about a week and a half at the end of the video to have a look at the result of planting out the entire salad table with the miniature NFT hydroponic system seedlings. So hang around for that and enjoy the video. Welcome back to Hucho's. Today on Hucho's, we're revisiting the salad table and Mel's hydroponic system. Welcome Hello. back. Thank you. Um, so Mel hasn't really done anything since we were last here, which is kind of good because I've got a heap of seedlings that were featured in our last video, uh, which was the mini NFT hydroponic system propagation system. So if you haven't watched that video, it actually leads into this video um, with these seedlings. So I've started these seedlings. You can see the NFT channel that holds all of these plants in place. And rather than waste them, I thought we could just plug, place them into the salad table NFT system. Yeah. So we're gonna plant out that system. Cool? Yep. Cool. So as you can see here, the lettuce have grown since last we were here and they've grown pretty well hey pretty good yeah, yeah yeah and so this is actually at half the ec i would usually run but it seems to be producing there is some slight yellowing on the leaves so they might need a little bit more nutrient and they are growing slow because it's winter there's no problems here you haven't even got any pests which is nice Can't fingers see. crossed yeah yeah fingers crossed i mean just wait <laughs> but yeah so we're just going to plant it out again today um you can actually see in the channels underneath Algae? Yeah, the algae that's growing. That doesn't really matter because like there won't be as much in these if you have a look under here. Because the roots grab them? Because, well, the roots are going to have a little bit in them, but once they get to this size, you can see they block all the light. Oh, and no more algae. No more algae. Cool, yep. cool. So we don't really need to even worry about that. Um, but yeah, we'll take these out and then we can plant our seedlings. So I've also brought a heap of basil that we'll just place throughout the system as well. And I think we'll just aim for the basil at the back again, hey? Yeah. So you, you can start putting those out. And I want to talk to you guys about these. This is the mini NFT propagation system channel. And what I'm going to actually show you here is I'm going to turn it upside down and we're going to slide the bottom, the base off. So I hope, I'm hoping this works in one go. I'm gonna recommend that you don't use these lids for this very reason, because it's trapping all these plants in place. <laughs> I know, it's just a mess. <laughs> See the roots? Yeah. I just have to pull that out. Actually, can you hold on to that thing? And I'll just, put, yep. Oh, oh, stop that. it. How cool. Look at that. You can see the roots have taken up the entire NFT. And what that's going to mean we can do is, you any scissors? Um, but I'll show you one more time. Look at those roots. That's incredible. Um, and that's exactly why we're not going to use the lids because the lids are going to mean that we have to break up these roots. Oh yeah, sweet. Cheers. So just to make this simpler, I'm just going to cut straight between each one of the roots and we'll just try and pull them out like that. Should I be putting more in here? Um, yeah, or why just not? that back one. Um, maybe just move the lettuce into here. And then fill it. And then fill it with basil, yeah. And then you should be able to just pull them out. So starting from the end, I'm just gonna push them out. And we'll have individual bunches of greens. And then I'm just gonna drop them straight into this system. It's gonna get a bit crowded in this system as well, because there's just so many of these but that'll be fine. It's okay, that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. Fill it'll, it up, it'll be fill it up. Absolutely fine. I love that the little roots are all stuck together on these too. These definitely aren't gonna be the prettiest seedlings, but they should fill out now that they're in full sunlight and have a bit more space themselves. But they, you know, still edible. <laughs> they're still alive. They're still alive. They're still kicking. And now that they have more root space, they will just explode in growth. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, take the, any, 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 even if you want to take the small plants out that you don't think are going to make it. Um, like for instance, this one here, I don't think we'll put that in because look at them. They're just, weak. They're weak. We'll just weak eliminate the weak. <laughs> nice. And again, that is the base of the NFT. That's so cool. I know, how cool, hey? <laughs> yeah. How long does that take? Uh, this was, um, yeah, this is about, about a month. Yeah, but the, so like fast. this was like, this should have been taken out of this system like ages ago. I should have planned them out in like a, a different system because they're just overcrowded. That's Rocket. Yes, yeah, this is so much. I'm pretty sure these are cross, um, half bok choy, half pak choy. You can yeah, tell the difference. Yeah, is this silver beet? 
Um, no, that's pak choy. I think that might be actually tat soy. I don't know. They're all Asian this, green. Some Asian green. Asian green. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. It was tat soy and bok choy. So, there you go. This is so cool. Anyways. They're all, you use them for all the same dishes anyway, so. Stir fry. I think it's gonna, I think we're gonna make it, eh? We'll probably fill this up. Go, son, go. I can't get over how much you can do. Like, look how little this is and. Yeah, yeah. How like many little, plants are pumping. This was done in a on a container that size. And now it's going to fill this whole and thing. And you've got some seeds. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so that one's flowering. You could probably put that in and then let it go to flower and collect the seeds. Yeah. So, take that one out now. This, this is the one I'm talking about. And because, actually, you can see throughout here where the humidity was really high, these are all air roots. So the moisture is actually coming up the roots and letting them grow into the air. You can see that it's like, it's like cobwebs. And that's because the humidity within, this was right in the middle of this one. Like, so the humidity underneath the leaves was so high that the, the roots were rooting into the air. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, hey? Yeah. Um, but because, because there was like no space at all um, and the, they, they were competing for root space as well as um, light, this one's bolted because it's been stressed. And, um, and that means that it's just, yeah, it's not having a good time. But uh, there's another one bolting there, see, with the flowers. So they flower too early? Um, yeah, so that's when they, they well, yeah, when they sort of forced to go to flower at any time, that's just when they bolt. I kind of want to eat this. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Because you grew it yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I ate a capsicum and I grew the other day and oh, I was yeah. like, so much so better. So much better. So much better. Yeah. We're going to have, like, we're going to be able to it's fill this whole thing full. Up. Yeah. Yes. And that'll be good because like when we start the Thank rock wall so as well, much. by the time it comes through, um, it'll probably be about time to harvest some of these lettuce. So you can start. So you pull the whole thing out? Yep, just pull the whole thing out. Unless you want to, you can take individual leaves like you just did. Yeah. Um, like for this one, if you wanted a salad right now, or like a sandwich with some lettuce on it, just pick the bottom leaves and then just continue growing. Um, my mate growing. picked them and they ended up like looking like palm trees. <laughs> because the yeah, right. yeah, yeah, so the, the tops were just like. Cool. Um, I don't do that because I've got like so much lettuce, I'm just like rip the whole lettuce out. That'll start do. again? Yeah, oh yeah, just um, whatever I don't use goes to the chickens. All right, so these are the Rockwell cubes. The Rockwell cubes didn't do so well in this system. The reason I think that the rock wall cubes didn't do so well is because I've made really small rock wall cubes and they just weren't able to escape the moisture as well as the cocoa. And I'm pretty sure the roots were starved of oxygen, which is very important in hydroponic systems because like the, with the amount of water that's going through them, the roots can starve really easily of oxygen. And rot. Yeah, root rot. Yeah, yeah. Pythium is the um, fungus. Well, it's not a fungus. Um, it's a... It's classified as what's on the bottom of the screen right now. <laughs> so they're different pods. Yeah, so these are these are rock wool, like the ones. The ones that I have. Yeah, like the ones that you've got. All right, I think we're done. Look at there it, it's on. full. Yeah. Yeah. You better start eating some lettuce. I love it. Good. Yeah, good. All right, so we've planted out the system. I'll give you a look. They do look a bit ratty at the moment, but they will come good because these have been all struggling for space, both root and leaf space, and yeah, it's not been ideal. I've been a bit lazy, but we both have really, haven't we? Definitely. <laughs> These ones are a little bit crowded in, so when you're picking them, aim for picking the ones with doubles or triples or however many's in the spot, and then uh, move your way to like the singles, because these ones will grow normally, but these ones are going to be competing with each other for space. Eat them logically. Strategically. Strategically. Mm. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to add in more nutrient because we got it to 0.76, which is about half of what I wanted last time. Yeah. But I don't want to overshoot that. So what I'm actually going to do is instead of 150 like last time, I'm going to do 100 mils of each. And then it'll like, because they're already going well, they've just got a slight yellow to the leaves, which I'm not particularly ha happy with. If you put 100 mils in of that one, um, and then I'll put 100 mils in of this. And that way, when you top up, you can probably top up a couple of times uh, with water now. These guys are doing really well, so I don't think there's anything wrong with what's going on in that. And it kind of shows you that you can just wing it with hydroponics and generally get a decent result, even if you don't have the proper equipment. Like, we haven't adjusted this pH at all. Haven't touched it? No, nah, haven't. It's just been just turning over. Yeah. Um, and the algae's been loving it, but that will stop now that we've got a nice cover that, and all the holes are plugged. 
Do you, any questions? Um, no, I was wondering how often to top up. Please. Actually, someone mentioned like when I was when I said, "Oh, it would be good to put a float valve onto this system." They said, "Why don't you attach a float valve to the downpipe?" So have like something come off the downpipe and then attach a float valve in, which would be possible. So you would have like I could three D print a part that would clamp onto the the pipe going down into the res, which you could then have a float valve come off and then a hose go in and top up automatically. So down. if this becomes a problem in summer, you just let me know and I'll design a 3D print that fits that pipe. I'll just need you to get the dimensions of the pipe and then we can add a float valve into that res straight off the down pipe. Because it's soft, the res, but the down pipe, I can just attach anything to. Yeah, Yeah. That so, brilliant. And then you can just have it straight off your tap and then it'll automatically top up this system, especially once we get the hotter days, which are starting to like roll over too, even though we got this miserable rainy day that is now spitting on us. Ruining my day off. And just before we go, we've skipped ahead a week and a half, and this is how the seedlings from the mini NFT hydroponic system are faring. You can see that they're doing really well, and even the seedlings that were originally in here, they've all kind of evened out in growth, and they're looking really good actually. Um, they've come back really nicely from that state where they were crowded in and now they've got enough space, they're obviously filling out. We can see some of them are stressed because the flowering, but they were already flowering. We have a few extras that are flowering now, but overall, very nice result. Um, and that's about it. So thank you for watching this episode of Who Chose and well, we'll see you next time and I'll see you next time Happy hydroponicking. <laughs> yeah, another another job well done. Yeah. <laughs>